So when the news broke today about this topic that we will start the show off with, yours truly could not wait to get on the air. It's Chris Soriano with you for the next three hours, 877-337-6666. That's the iconic telephone number here on the fan. And the Yankees have decided to part ways with Joe Girardi. And this was something that we were discussing, folks, since Game 2. Since Girardi did not go out there and challenge in Cleveland for Game 2 of the ALDS, and the questions began to mount. What is the future of Joe Girardi and the Yankees? What will it be? And we have found out today that that future is no more, that he will not return in 2018. So the Mets and the Yankees this year will be getting new managers in the offseason, obviously Mickey Calloway replacing Terry Collins a couple days ago, and Joe Girardi out now as the skipper of the Yankees. And I've gotten a lot of feedback today, positive, negative. There are some Yankee fans out there that are happy, and there are some Yankee fans out there that are confused. Thought that he was the right man for the job with this young core group. My take is this. Joe Girardi has his flaws. Every manager does. His bullpen use is cringeworthy at times. Um, He goes by the book a little bit too much. Binder Joe, as he's called on the New York airwaves. His decision not to challenge a game two. A costly one. Almost cost him the series. And I think in the end that was a big factor in him being let go. But his body of work, his overall body of work, with this Yankee organization since he took over for Joe Torre. Yes, they've been to one World Series and they've only won one. And I've heard that all day from the Yankee fans. And, yeah, he only went to three ALCSs. I understand that also. But at the same time, he didn't have what Joe Torre had. He didn't have a star-studded team every year. And yeah, he missed the playoffs. But the point that I'm trying to make, and and I'm not downgrading Cashman, because Cashman has done a great job as Yankees general manager. But the Yankees over the years, either they were too old or they were too young. Whether they were too old or too young, Girardi always had them in the hunt. Final week of the season, they were in there. And what I always look at when a team wants to fire a manager and fans want a manager fired is who is the next guy? Who are you going to bring in? Are there managers out there better than Joe Girardi? Yeah, of course there are. However, what manager out there on the open market right now is a good fit for that Yankee team other than Joe Girardi? It's tough. It's a tough call. And I know it's business. But listen, everybody said that Joe Torre would never be fired. After what he did, title in 96, 98, 99, 2000, that was it. And if he survived 2004, he was never going to get fired. They didn't bring him back. And if they didn't bring Joe Torre back, they cannot bring Joe Girardi back. With the Yankees at the end of the day, it's business. It's business. 